All right, YouTube, can you hear me? Check it out. It's uh, Friday, so we did most of this last weekend. Um, try to think about it. I always want to do another video whenever I get something big done, but I never end up having time or I have to finish little, little things up. So Saturday morning, I think the last video was like last Thursday or Friday. Saturday morning, we had the trusses hung by hand uh by it was 10 o'clock 10 45 something like that before before launch we had a third of it strapped with the four inch boards and then we had like the whole bottom side done and then we had all of the uh <coughs> two by six fascia done sorry and the uh, uh what do you call that drip edge so yeah we were like dead on with boards. We lacked like one board. We didn't really lack it, but um, I had to use one of the other boards I had. So one by four every foot, and that's one foot centered. So there's actually only eight inches in between each board. And then uh, we used six inch board at the top. That's what I had laying around. Tin, drip edge, uh, everything's like double screwed. Uh, these are, as you can see, braced. And the important spots for now. I'm gonna keep going on and do a little extra. I was worried the two foot overhang was gonna look goofy because it's two foot from here to here, and it's also two foot from here out. But I do like the looks of it because it's a smaller house. Yeah, the tin turned out really nice. <clears throat> uh, tin's kind of hard because you gotta make sure everything's square. If you use a sheeting on your roof, as long as your sheets are square and they're going on square with the trusses, then you're pretty well good. But I used strapping, so it was a little extra work. Well, a lot of extra work, but yeah. So there's a stringer all the way across the center and there's some bracing. You kind of really can't see it's getting dark. So this weekend's project will be, uh, I got the last two windows, these two that I added. I bought those today at Lowe's. I got probably 80% of the OSB for the gables. I've got a little chunk of Tyvek, which I want to try to use first because it was free. And then see how far that goes. And then I can go buy whatever I lack. But the plan for this weekend is uh, gables, Tyvek, and windows. I doubt I'm going to get a chance to do the doors just because uh, pretty sure I, I feel pretty confident I can do the windows by myself but the doors are a lot more finicky as far as shimming and making sure you get like a good base what you're going to use and then the spacing from jack stud to jack stud and all sort of stuff my, I made my blocks one inch shorter than most people do on accident so I'll take a little figure in there. But yeah, my <clears throat> we did a, which I didn't show. You can't, you can't really see it. In the center of those boards is a uh, Cobra vent. It's an exhaust vent. Basically looks like, a, looks like a plastic steel wall. And it'll still allow it to vent up because it's gonna vent up from the bottom. But it will vent out or whatever. But it won't let bees and bats or whatever else in. So yeah, this is a pretty huge step for me because now we're, <clears throat> other than doors, by the end of the weekend, basically we what I could, would consider dried in. And then one of the guys who helped and came, or came and helped with the uh, trusses has the softened material. He used to be a builder. He owned his own company and he bought a deal off Craigslist with like a ton of soffit stuff. Um, so... I'll buy that cheap off of him, and it'll be like a vinyl. It's a white vinyl soffit. That's why I bought the white drip edge. And everything turned out really nice. Everything's really square and straight. I'm really, really happy. A little bit of leftover. Not bad, though. So, yeah. Just going to show you guys real quick where I'm out. I'm not going to do a bunch of rambling on this video. But uh, super excited where we're at. I'm going to get laid off of work soon. So, <clears throat> for dried in, I'll go get my... My grandpa's salamander and get that fired up, get in here. 
uh, just for chilly mornings and stuff. Not, obviously, you can't heat the whole place with a salamander to live in. But, um, yeah, I don't honestly know a damn thing in the world about plumbing. The drains made sense, and they're fairly easy. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, run, run a line, a hot and a cold to every fixture in the house with pecs should be fairly simple to figure out but I'll have someone show me the ropes and do all that and then <clears throat> uh, electrical you kind of really can't do that because you have to do it a little more strategically what's going to go on one breaker um, bathrooms and kitchen will be on a GFCI outlet which should be the first outlet I think and then from there on the rest of the outlets will piggyback off of that one it's kind of my rough understanding. I don't, I don't know anything about that, so I think someone to come help me with that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so. But before weather breaks, my next project's gonna be the septic. Uh, I work at a uh, rock quarry. We crush stone. That's my job is a stone around one of the crushers. So hopefully I can get a good deal on stone, which I know I do. I'm just not sure if we have the right stone for what I need. If that's the case, then it'll actually be a lot cheaper. Saved myself about 500 bucks, or actually about 1100 bucks. So I'll do that. <clears throat> the tank is uh, like around 1200. I have most of my fill already here to go over top. I gotta buy pipe, which is like 250. And then landscape fabric. Basically, I get stone for a uh, 20 ton load. I usually get it for like 105 bucks. So hopefully that'll work out. But uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Gotta get, get a piece of equipment in here. Do the septic. And then I'll dig the water line. And I'll probably dig the electrical line too all at once. I gotta clarify where the electrical line can go in. Because I don't want my electrical panel too close to water. But my, my what we call it is a pump room. You know, back in that corner. Is uh, gonna be my water pump. My water heater. My main water inlet and then all my electrical stuff for the whole house so if i have to i'll put like the electrical panel on one wall and then on this this back wall i have 16 feet to play with the only thing i have to worry about is the washer i put the washer i wanted the washer and dryer next to each other so i put the washer has a main drain out it's going to go into a separate septic so just got to figure that in if i have to move the dryer to the other side of the room or something i'll do that i just need the dryer on the exterior wall so I can bend it out easily. I mean, if I had to figure something else out, I'm sure I could. But it's just easy to just shove a dryer vent directly out the wall. But yeah. And I also, well, another thing I didn't realize was the trusses are actually almost like a, a attic truss, I guess. There's a lot of space in the center. I got confused because I got two sets of trusses, two sets of truss plans. And one was for a two foot overhang and one was for a 16 inch overhang. The two foot overhang was actually six or seven hundred dollars cheaper. Um, but the way the email was set up was they were top and bottom. So there was four sets, but I only looked at the two first sets, which for some reason was the right end gable truss was correct, but the center ones were wrong. Just the picture itself, the measurements were right. That's why I ordered the 10 off of. But the picture I got for the center ones was from the 16 inch trusses, and there was like a main, basically like a main beam going down through here. So people kept asking me, did you, did you get uh, attic trusses? I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't believe so. You know, I, I just kind of got whatever was cheapest with an overhang and was, you know, the right pitch and plenty of, plenty strong. So, but I got lucky and there's actually quite a bit of space. I don't know what it is from there to there, but I know like vertical wise is like seven foot, eight inches. 7, 7 11, I think, to the top of the truss. But standing room from the bottom to the top would be like 7, 7, 8, 7, 9. So I don't know. We'll figure something out there. But yeah, we're getting there. I'll stop rambling for now. Trying to give you guys a quick update. Gotta go get water. And uh, catch you guys later.